The Jack Benny Program, presented by Lucky Strike. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky strike today. Now Venus is a gorgeous girl, but life for her is rough. A statue simply cannot smoke a lucky puff by puff. If you're unhappy with your smoke, you'd better switch your brand to mild, rich tasting Lucky Strike, the smoothest in the land. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky strike today. Friends, enjoy your cigarette. If you're not happy with your present brand, and a 38 city survey shows that millions of smokers are not, switch to Lucky Strike. With every Lucky you light, you always get complete smoking enjoyment. That happy blending of perfect mildness and rich, true taste that fine tobacco and only fine tobacco can give you. And remember, LSMFT, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So for complete smoking enjoyment for everything you want in a cigarette, be happy, go lucky, make your next carton Lucky Strike. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky strike. Strike program starring Jack Benny with Barry Livingston, Phil Harris, Rochester, Dennis Day, and yours truly, Don Wilson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, each Saturday after the Benny rehearsal, the cast drops into the corner drugstore for a bite to eat. At the moment, Phil Harris is sitting there all alone waiting for the other members of the cast. Would you like to order now, Mr. Harris? No, not yet, Shirley. I'm waiting for the rest of the gang. Oh. Will Mr. Benny be with them? Oh, yeah. Why? I want to get his autograph for my little nephew. Do you think he'll give it to me? Why, certainly, honey. Just have your pen, paper, and quarter ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Harris, you're joking. <laughs> joking, huh? You'll be lucky if you get your pen back. <laughs> Uh, by the way, Mr. Harris, I'd like your autograph for my nephew, too. Would you mind? Oh, not at all, Shirley. Just give me a pencil and paper. I brought it with me. Here, and would you mind signing it to Bertram? Sure. How do you spell that? <laughs> B-E-R. Wait till we come to that. How do you spell two? <laughs> T-O. Well, thanks. Oh, look out the window, Mr. Harris. Your friends are coming. Good. Uh... By the way, is Dennis Day a Boy Scout? I don't think so. Why? He's helping Mr. Benny cross the street. <laughs> we all do that. January is Dennis's month. <laughs> They're coming in now. Hey, fellas, fellas, over here. Oh, hello, Phil. Hiya, Phil. We keep you waiting long? No, I've only been here a few minutes. Dennis, we're in. You can turn me loose already. <laughs> Come on, let's sit down. Hey, what delayed you, Jackson? Oh, just as I was leaving, there was a long-distance call from Mr. Paley. Everything is all set. I'm going to do my second television show next Sunday. Oh, so you won the case, huh? Stop being so smart. We have trouble getting the time. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, anyway, Alice and the kids are going to watch it on our new set. A new television set? What kind do you got, Phil? A Lieutenant J.G.? That's nice. Now, kids... Hey, wait a minute. Ain't you going to ask me what kind of set that is? Not me. I'll ask you, Phil. What kind of a set is a Lieutenant J.G.? A small admiral. <laughs> On an empty stomach, you <laughs> An empty stomach? Yeah, I've had nothing today but food. <laughs> Pass me a menu. I think I can eat after that. <laughs> hey, ain't we gonna wait for Livy before we order? Oh, Mary won't be here for a while. She's calling the doctor to make an appointment for me. Well, what's the matter, Jack? Oh, nothing, nothing. I'm just going for my annual checkup. Uh, are you gentlemen ready to order? I guess so. Let's see. Hey, I know what I want. A bowl of soup, spaghetti and meatballs, a cup of coffee, and uh, some apple pie a la mode. 
I'll have a fruit cup, green salad, the lamb chops and mashed potatoes, a glass of milk and some seven-layer cake. Say, that sounds good. I'll have the same. The same as which? The same as both. <laughs> well, Don, I've never seen anyone like you. How can you possibly eat so much? <laughs> it is rather amazing, Jack, especially when you consider the fact that till I was six years old, I was fed through a tube. Yes, yes, I know, Don. That's the same tube they're now using for the Second Street Tunnel. <laughs> I've been through it many times. There's still a little pablum stuck to the ceiling. Uh, what will you have, Mr. Day? Well, I think I'll have... Hold a... it, Dennis. Hold it. Huh? Before you order, I'd like to say something to you. What? Every time we come in here to eat, you order the craziest things. Things that make me sick to my stomach. Sick? Yes. Like the last time we were in here. They had 69 different items on the menu, but did you ask for any of them? No. You had to order a cucumber split. <laughs> Imagine. Say, I think no, I'll No, you won't. <laughs> and you're not going to order that other favorite of yours either. Oysters with chocolate syrup. <laughs> I mean, how, how can you do that? Why not? They're in season. <laughs> I don't care about that. Starting right now, you're going to order sensibly, or you're not coming in with us anymore. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Uh, now, give the girl your order. Well, I'll have a chocolate malted milk with an egg in it. <laughs> well, that's better. Mm. One chocolate malted milk with an egg in it. I'd like the egg fried. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm going to the doctor anyway. <laughs> Hurry our orders, miss. Yes, sir. Hey, Jackson, look who just came in. Huh? Hello, Mr. Benny. Well, Mr. Benny. Yeah. 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 Mr. Kitzel, how about sitting down, having a sandwich or something? No, no, thank you. I just came in to do a little shopping. Only I forgot one important thing my wife asked me to get. You forgot? Yeah. She wanted me to get some toothpaste, mouthwash, shampoo, and one thing I forgot, all I can remember is it began with a B. With a B? Uh-huh. Bicarbonate? Mm, no. <laughs> Bath salts? Mm, no. Benzodrine? No. Begins with a B, huh? With a B, yes. <laughs> Kleenex? <laughs> Dennis, don't be silly. Wait a minute, just a second. That's what I want, Kleenex. <laughs> but, Mr. Kitzel, you said it started with a B. That's it, a box Kleenex. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Dennis. Oh, that's all right. Forget it, kid. <laughs> Thank you. Say, Mr. Kitzel, yes. I, haven't, I haven't seen you in quite some time now. Where have you been? I was up at Big Bear Lake for a vacation. Big Bear Lake, eh, for the winter sports? Oh, it's beautiful up there. <laughs> the snow, Mr. Benny, is six feet deep, and from the trees are hanging long icicles like crystal chandeliers. Oh. You've never seen anything so beautiful. Well, I can imagine. You know, I got a cabin up there, and I was there for ten days. Well, that's wonderful. Did you do any skiing? No. Ice skating? No. Tobogganing? No. Why not? In that lousy weather, who goes out? <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Benny. I've got to shop along now. Oh, so long, Mr. Kitzel. Goodbye. Imagine, imagine a guy having a cabin at Big Bear and doesn't go in for winter sport. You know, Jackson Remley and I go up the mountains three or four times every winter. You and Remley, huh? What's your favorite winter sport? We put on snowshoes and go looking for them St. Bernards. <laughs> Looking for St. Bernard? They don't always find you, you know. <laughs> Look, Phil. We bring our own ginger ale. All right. <laughs> Phil, look at 
Morgan, don't drain too many St. Bernards tonight because we're having another rehearsal at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Don't worry, Jackson, I'll be there. And Dennis, you'll be there at 9.30 so I can hear you do your song. Oh, I've rehearsed it three times already. Do you want to hear it? In the drugstore? Well, there's a record in the jukebox. I'll play it for you. Okay, go ahead. good recording there, Dennis, but don't you think it would have been even better if you'd sung the second chorus just a little bit faster? No. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just an idea, that's all. I thought that... Oh, my goodness, look what time it is. I told Mary I'd meet her by my car. I gotta go. Dennis, pay the check, will you? Pay the check, pay the check. And they talk about the luck of the Irish. <laughs> so long, fellas. <laughs> Before I leave, I think I'll get a package of lifesavers. Oh, clerk. Yes, sir? Uh, give me a package of lifesavers. What flavor? I don't care. The ones with the smallest holes. <laughs> <laughs> They're all the same size. Oh, oh well, give me peppermint. Just a sec. Or maybe I'll take some... Hey, Cloy. Cloy. Yes, sir? Hey, I put some money in that cigarette machine. I didn't get my lucky strikes. Oh, I'm awfully sorry, sir. They sell so fast, the machine's probably out of them. Here, I'll give you your money back. Oh, I don't want my money back. I want lucky strikes. <laughs> I'm sorry. All I can do is give you your money. If I wanted my money, I wouldn't have put it in the machine in the first place. I want lucky strikes. But, sir, all I can do is give you back your 20 cents. I don't want my 20 cents. Can I get that deep down smoking satisfaction out of two dimes? <laughs> Say, mister... You keep out of it. I'm sorry. Now, look, Clay, what are you going to do about my lucky strikes? I don't know. Would you like any other cigarette? Oh, you ought to slap your face. <laughs> Attaboy. I told you to keep out of this. All right, all right. Forget the lifesavers. I'm leaving. Hey, now, look, Clark, I want lucky strikes, and I don't want any more argument out of you. Gee, I hope I haven't kept Mary waiting too long. She ought to be by the car there. Oodle dee poop 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 poo Next Sunday, I'll be on TV, and if I'm good, I'll gloat. But if I'm not, 
So what? I can always cut my throat. <laughs> Go lucky, be happy. Go lucky, strike me. Oh, hello, Mary. Well, Jack, it's about time. Oh, I'm sorry, Mary, but I stopped to get some lifesavers, and some guy started an argument with the clerk, so I finally went away without him. Well, Jack, I have a package of lifesavers with me. You have? Yeah. Oh, well, they're somewhere here in my purse. I know they're in here. He's dark in there. <laughs> cleaned out this purse since I came back from Palm Springs. There's my sunglasses, my lipstick, my compact, my bathing suit. Your bathing suit in your bag? In my coin purse yet. <laughs> Say, when you get a tan, you really get a tan. <laughs> Never mind the lifesavers, Mary. Oh, here they are. Good, good. Here, I'll open them for you. Aw, oh, Jack, look at this. Your Christmas card is still in them. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember I wrote something cute on it. Yes, Jack, you did. Very cute. Listen to this. It's not the price of the gift that counts, be it a fortune or a penny. These are the words of that famous bard, Omar Khayyam Benny. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? You know, Mary, without the poem, it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I've got news for you, Omar. I know, I know. <laughs> Come on, there's the car. I want to get to the doctor's office. Oh, hello, Rochester. Hello, boss. Are you ready to go? Yeah, come on, Mary. I'll help you in the car. <laughs> go ahead, Rochester. Start it. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Must be a little cold. Try it again, Rochester. Yes, sir. It's going, it's going. Yippee, let him walk right up, cowboy. Mary, stop. <laughs> Say, Rochester, the motor sounds better, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll try something new in the gas tank. Ethel? No, had a cold. <laughs> Yogurt. <laughs> well, it certainly helped. Now, Roger, just ride, drive down Sunset Boulevard. It's less than a mile. Yes, sir. Jack, I hate to keep bringing this up all the time, but last week when Rochester drove me to the studio, I was so embarrassed. Why don't you get a new car? Mary, I don't need a new one. Miss Livingston's right, boss. This car's too old-fashioned. It is not. I'm sitting up so high, I feel like a lifeguard. <laughs> Rochester. A cop can't give me a ticket unless he's on a pogo stick. <laughs> Never mind that. Rochester, oh, drive carefully, will you? Look at they're digging up the streets with those air hammers. Be careful. Hello, babe. <laughs> you know, Mary, you think. <laughs> you know, Mary, you'd think that that thing would shake her to pieces. <laughs> You know, baby, really. Oh, oh the, there's the doctor's office. It's the building on the next corner. <laughs> you better stop the car, Rochester. Okay, fasten your seat belts. Uh, what? To stop this car, you've got to hit something. Not anymore. Just stop the car. Yes. See how nice it stopped since we had the brake fixed? <laughs> now, Roger, you wait here for us. It shouldn't take long. Uh, come on, Jack. The, uh, the office is on the fifth floor. Okay. Now, where's the doctor's office? Mm, must be right down the hall. Let's see. Uh, 502. 503. Uh, oh, here it is. Oh, yeah. We're still a few minutes early. Isn't it? Well, go over and tell that nurse you're here. Okay. Oh, nurse? Yes, sir? Nurse, I have an appointment for a checkup at 1.30. 
Yes, sir, I'll just fill out this form. Your name? Jack Benny. Your address? The 360 North Camden Drive. Your age? 39. <laughs> Your height? Five foot ten and a half. Weight? 155. Your age? 39. <laughs> Color of hair? Brown. Color of eyes? Oh, they're blue, aren't they? Bluer than the feet of a Sicilian wine presser. <laughs> Complexion? Fair. Your age? 39. <laughs> Your occupation? Comedian. I thought so. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to know, nurse? No. Uh, all right, Mr. Benny, you may go into the doctor's office right through that door. Thank you. Mary, I won't be long. Okay, Jack, I'll wait here. Oh, uh, one more question, Mr. Benny. Have you had any recent operations or accidents? No, no, I don't... Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Ask me that again, will you? Have you had any recent accidents? Yes, yes, about two years ago, I, I swallowed a penny. Swallowed a penny? Uh, what did you do for it? I took penny penicillin. <laughs> Did you hear that, Mary? I said... <laughs> well, anyway, nurse... <laughs> Gee, and I waited six months to pull that one. Huh? Oh, well, I might as well go in for the examination. Oh, uh, doctor, I came here for... Well, what are you doing here? What? I thought we buried you yesterday. <laughs> no, no, that must have been someone else. Yeah, I don't think so. Fold your arm. Now cut that out! <laughs> Look, doctor, I'm here for my examination. I had this appointment. Oh, yes, yes. Now take off your coat. There. Now you're sure. There. And now take off your tie. <laughs> oh, so that's where it was. I've been looking for it for two weeks. <laughs> All right, doctor, I'm ready. And now let's get on with your examination, shall we? <laughs> First, I want you to step over here behind this fluoroscope. Over there? That's it. Now, wait till I adjust it. That's better. Now I put out the lights. Now I turn on the fluoroscope machine. Hmm, that's funny. Doctor, what do you see? A test pattern. <laughs> I'll try it again. There, that's better. It's clear now. Here, drink this glass of barium. Barium? What's that for? Well, it's thick and white, and as you drink it, I can watch through the fluoroscope and trace it as it goes through your digestive tract. Oh. Oh, all right. I'll drink it. Mm. Oh, it, it's awful. There. Now it's going down past your trachea, through your esophagus, <laughs> past your lungs, past your heart, and now it's making a right turn and going straight across... Well! <laughs> now it's backing up. Backing up? It went through a boulevard stop. <laughs> what? There it goes again. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Well, that's enough with the fluoroscope. Now come out here while I listen to your chair. Right here. Now take a deep breath. Hold it. Hold it. Exhale. Another deep breath. 
Hold it. Hold it. Exhale. Another deep breath. Hold it. Excuse me. Hello. Oh, hello, dear. The Bonnie Jean got her first tooth. That's good. Mm. For dinner? Mm. Oh, anything you want to prepare. Mm. Oh, I don't care what time. I'll be home by six. Mm. After dinner, mm. we'll go to a picture. Mm. Maybe Harvey, you're born yesterday. <laughs> Excuse me, dear, my patient just sprung a leaf. <laughs> Why? What's the idea of having me hold my breath while you gab on the phone? You're the silliest doctor I've ever seen. Don't get huffy with me, or I'll tell everyone you took out your own appendix. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's finish this examination. Okay, hold still. I want to listen to your heart. Ooh, your stethoscope is cold. Yeah, hold still. I'm listening. Mm, that's a strange heartbeat. Yeah, I got to listen to that again. <laughs> Mr. Benny, Mr. Benny, what are you yelling about? Huh? Oh, for two weeks I did King Solomon's Mines and the heat got me. <laughs> oh, are you the one who's been doing King Solomon's Mines? Yes. Well, let me give you an injection. Doctor! <laughs> nurse! 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 Don't worry, the doctor just came in. Just came in? Well, who's that guy in the other room? Oh, he's one of our patients. He's crazy. <laughs> what? Well, here's the doctor right here. Oh. Well, I'm certainly glad to see you, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to... Jack will be back in just a moment, but first, let's do a little putting up at the corner barber shop. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky, strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky, strike today. I'll cut your hair and shave your chin exactly as you like, and make you welcome with a milder, richer, lucky strike. A manicurist gets good tips, so take a tip from me. In cigarettes, tobacco counts, and LSMMT. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky, strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky, strike today. Friends, are you happy with your cigarette? Really happy? Here's why I ask. A recent 38 city survey shows that millions of smokers are not happy with a the brand they're smoking. Now, if this is true of you, and you want complete smoking enjoyment, switch to Lucky Strike. You see, fine tobacco, and only fine tobacco, always gives you that happy blending of perfect mildness and rich, true taste. Everything you want in a cigarette. And everybody knows LSMFT, Lucky Strike, means fine tobacco. So, friends, to really enjoy your cigarette, be happy. Go lucky. Make your next carton Lucky Strike. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky, strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky, strike today. We're a little bit late, so good night, everybody. Be sure to hear Dennis Day on the day in the life of Dennis Day. Stay tuned for the Amos Daddy Show, which follows immediately. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.